this morning. Can bless me when we go. They bless me to get in my car and to travel to this little church this morning. Much like the brother that came before me, and yeah. Come on. unless the Lord would help me, That's brother right. Chris, I can't do anything no. on my own. Sure. No. Come on. This man that you look at right here, this fleshly man, he's he's vile and he's full of sin, brother. Yes, sir. He's contrary to God. Yes, he is. But I want you to know today, Papa, that about 20 years ago, I met, I met the best friend, brother, that I ever, that I ever encountered, that I ever walked with. No problem. And there's been times, brother Larry, that I've let my friends down. But I want you to know something today, Brother Dalton. I'm proud of you. Yeah. I want you to know that there's never been a time that my friend has let me down. No. No. Uh, because today, Brandon, the, the man that you look at right here, he is the weak link between uh, my relationship between me and the Lord today. And I hope that sure. uh, for a few minutes of time, oh, that, uh, um, Darryl, I can just settle down yeah, in here and, and I can preach to you uh, uh, the salvation that the Lord has. Uh, do you believe today that there's a difference in uh, salvation and religion today? Yeah. Um, brother, uh, you know, uh, uh, me and my wife, uh, we was over shopping. Uh, a week or two ago, uh, uh, over in Lexington there, yeah. and we was in a little shoe on Brother Mike, and you know, I was just sitting there watching her pick through all the shoes, and, and I was just standing there, and uh, over on the other side of the aisle, Brother Howard, there was you know, three workers there in the little Target store, and I began to overhear their conversation, Chris. Uh, the little girl, she was probably around 16 or 17 years old, and she began to say to uh, uh, one of the other workers there, she said, I went out to church Sunday, and I just didn't feel like uh, that I was getting anything out of it. Uh, she said, I sat there so bored. Uh, she said, I just keep trying, and you know, I couldn't sit there much longer, Chris, and I kind of poked my head up over, uh, over the, uh, the top of the shoes, and I said, uh, sometimes uh, you got to go with your cup turned up, and you know, uh, she looked up at me, she said, oh my God, I think God's talking to me, and you know, my brother Mike, I, I began to talk to her a little bit there, and the other two, um, they was knelt down, uh, putting the shoes away, um, they begin to scurry on their way, I feel like um, that they felt a little bit out of that's the right, grid, that's right. uh, but you know what, um, that one little girl, uh, she came around the side over to where I uh, didn't think it was that, and she began to talk to us. And I asked her, I said, and she began to tell us that she had been in church for a little bit, that she had been baptized, but she just didn't feel right. And I asked her, I said, do you feel like that God saved you? And she just stood there for a second. I said, do you feel like have you ever been forgiven of your sins? And she began to look at me. She never really answered anything. Yeah. And she yeah. said, I don't know. And I began to talk to her and I said, I'm telling you, if you will seek this man out yeah. in a little church and seek out salvation, yeah. Brother yeah. Howard, yeah. Uh, he'll give you something yeah. like you've never That's looked right. before. Right. And you know what? I began to talk to her there about religion and salvation. Yeah. You can go out to church. Uh, every day of your life today. 
day I'm murdered on And you'll die and you'll go to hell Because I you know how I'm not blood great for you But I want you to know something today I'm looking me laying on your deathbed I'm the biggest sinner in the world And you can call out unto my Lord yeah. right there And he'll speak peace to your soul sure. Take you to heaven's land. Yes, sir, uh, you see today, um, there is a difference today uh, between uh, just being religious uh, and seeking out the power of God. On uh, one time, uh, when Jesus was here, uh, um, there was a big multitude of people, uh, and they was all gathered in a building, something like this, uh, and and it was to where the people was crowded. Uh, uh, you couldn't even get in the door And you know what uh, There was a few men And they had a friend They were sick With the palsy uh, He was a paralyzed man uh, Laying on a bed brother Ray. And you know uh, These men knew If they could just get into Jesus uh, He could heal him uh, well, uh, No doubt uh, The crowd was all around Uh, they begin to climb up on the roof uh, And they yeah, begin to remove the tiling uh, right. And they let him down right there uh, And you, uh, can you imagine uh, uh, Jesus oh. looking up uh, And seeing uh, uh, this man come down Oh uh, uh, well, he couldn't even move, brother Oh uh, uh, well, I want you to know something today uh, um, uh, That represents sin in our life uh, uh, That man that couldn't even on his bed, and Jesus, oh, he looks at him, and he says, man, I'm not sin, you're forgiven, oh, well, I'm there was a bunch of, there was a bunch of religious people, sitting around, on the Pharisees, I am the scribe, brother, on the men that read this book, and they read it over and over, and they knew every line in it, um, Brother Darrell, uh, they were religious men, and, and it bothered them um, that this man right here could forgive the sins. And in their heart they said, uh, who is this that uh, forgives sins like that? Uh, well, uh, Jesus perceived it in his heart um, that it was bothering them. And you know what he did right there? He looked at the man he just forgave, and he said, is it easier for me to say uh, your sins are for yeah, you yeah, or, 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 or to say arise and walk today yeah. uh, well I want you to so know this I'm uh, 20 some years ago I found myself uh, down beside a little bed uh, about uh, midnight one o'clock in the morning uh, I was so I was so sick of this world uh, I felt like if I fell asleep well the time is uh, I wouldn't wake up I'd die and I'd go to hell uh, you talk about getting afraid uh, well I thank God for that fear today uh, the fear of the Lord brother uh, it's a good thing uh, you know what I you have that start brother and I think you have fear for a little bit uh, um, there's something else that comes with it uh, understanding brother uh, it's the departure of evil uh, so you see today uh, when you begin to be afraid uh, of your shape that you're in uh, um, you're actually in a good place uh, the Lord he can work with that uh, he can holler out to you uh, he can guide you and lead you Brother, uh, um, this line, uh, uh, that uh, Jeremiah one time, uh, um, when you was a uh, preacher there, Brother Kenry, uh, talking about the hope you had, uh, oh, you know what, uh, and Jeremiah says, um, blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord, and whose hope that the Lord is, uh, uh, today do you have the Lord on this side, yeah. are you following that man, right. uh, that's right. Because I want to 
want you to know, Lord, today, I'm this world we're living in. It's going the wrong way fast. And you're trying to drag you around. But you know what? I'm the Lord. He's looking for a few good ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. <laughs> to stand on the firing line. That's right. That's right. Great call. Like that. To get out. To preach against the things of this world. Mm -hmm. Salvation is a free gift of God. Nobody. Can't be bought. And I want you to know that there's no, there's no works. There's no good thing that you're going to do to acquire it. And I know that, that it's hard. It's a struggle when you're seeking him out because I was right there. I tried bargaining with him. Sure, that's right. I tried being a better person. I tried doing everything that I could do, brother. But you know what it came down to? It came down to giving my heart to the Lord. Giving up everything in this world. I finally at one time sold out to this world and grabbed a hold of the greatest thing that I ever spent in right. I love each one of you. I'm going to give away. Done well. Let me grow. Come on, Brother Chris, from Canaan Shore, everybody pray for him. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, God. Thankful this morning to get to be here. Get to see everybody.